it's time for the Italian Grand Prix once again here at the beloved and iconic Autodromo Nazionale di Monza. With the lowest downforce and drag of any circuit in the season, expect to see drivers making the most of the slipstream effect here today. We're 12 miles northeast of Milan for today's Grand Prix at a Monza circuit where we can expect top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with seven of those coming in the form of chicanes and with a good slipstream and DRS open there should be plenty of opportunity for some passing here today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's a Ferrari pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today we have Leclerc, Perez, Lando Norris, and Russell, Hamilton, Ricardo, Magnussen, and Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Sonoda, Esteban Ocon, and Albon, Bottas, Vettel, Lance Stroll, and Mick Schumacher, Latifi, and Guan Yu Zhou. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat is Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching out for as they head into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space, and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. This is the team's home race.
when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Amazing, mate. Well done. There it is then. Victory in the Italian Grand Prix. An historic race and an achievement they can be immensely proud of. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. 
When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit, familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again. So let's review the updated driver standings. Our championship leader not only managed to hold on to the top spot, but managed to further extend their lead. That's impressive stuff. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Well, it's absolutely got to be Alexander Albon, no hesitation. He put in a performance today that's only going to build further upon his already growing reputation. Let's move on to the constructors. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.